sheep survivor scare. The lambs are in the barn. Or wherever the fuck they sleep. I don't know where yeah, lambs right. sleep. It was almost lambs to the slaughter. Could have been Jim Goodwin to the slaughter. Had things turned out a little bit differently tonight. Pretty embarrassing, I thought, about Dean getting held in the end by Ann and Athletic and having to go to extra time. Ann Athletic of League 2. I mean, League it, 2. I mean, it does look like the going to extra time kind of woke up all day up, you know, and they didn't take the chance of going to penalties in the end. They did win the game convincingly 4-1, but it should never have went to penalties. You know, Aberdeen should have buried this in 90 minutes. And it was just unnecessary. Giving, giving Annan a chance like that. It goes to a penalty shoot, anything can happen. I mean, let's be real, Aberdeen need to treat these cups seriously, right? Outside the old firm, no team is going to win the league, right? Unless we get a miracle. It's just not... It's not feasible, right, for a, 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 a non-old firm side to, to win the league. So why wouldn't you focus on Aberdeen or don't have any sort of European football? Why would they not be treating the Cups as a priority this season? Yes, you want to finish as high as you can in the league. I totally get that. But do Aberdeen not want to win some silverware? I know, but if you're saying that it's impossible for them to win the league, which I basically agree with, why, not, why do most teams not focus on the Cups? I will say Aberdeen did play a strong enough team here, but based off your logic, should not most teams go all out? No, I think they should. I, I like mean, should I they not like see the way St Johnson did the double? If that if, based off your logic, should teams like Aberdeen, Hibs, and Hearts not be doing a double? Not frequently, but like like every like thirty years, and it just doesn't really happen, does it? Oh, yeah, I think Hibs would settle for winning a cup every thirty years. No, but you know what I mean. Is it not embarrassing that they don't? I, I, I think if you're I think if you're Hibs Aberdeen Hearts you should be trying to aim you should be trying to get a final every year I think you should, you've got two cups I mean if I, if I was an Aberdeen for Hibs Aberdeen and all that shit you, you should be trying to win a cup every couple of years if I was an Aberdeen fan I'd be wanting to at least get to get to Hamden at least once a year see when you think about it Aberdeen's cup record's pretty horrendous well it's and Tom Rogic sunk them about five years ago. I, I I just think for a team of Aberdeen's calibre, they should be looking to reach semi-finals, finals every year. Minimum. Game. But they, they don't really do that. So, yeah, it is what it is. But they're into the next round. They're into the quarterfinals of the League Cup. Yeah, Precision opened the scoring. Uh, Swinglehurst made it one each for an Athletic from a corner. Swinglehurst. Oh, that's a, I rate that name. That's a pretty decent name. Uh, but yeah, go, we go into extra time and then Aberdeen went, well, you know what, actually we might need to try here. De Barrios Lopez, 97th minute. Besusian, another goal for him, adds to his first. Clarkson, who looks like he's been a really good signing uh, from uh, Liverpool on loan or wherever the hell he's from. It is Liverpool. Makes it 4-1. Uh, so Aberdeen and fans, so they join uh, Dundee and Partick Thistle in there. Also with Rangers, who also struggled tonight. Thoughts on the mighty Glasgow Rangers? <sighs> I mean, two one for a very very long you know portion of the match made it three one towards the end. At one stage they were pulled back by Queen of the South. At Ibrox, we had decent strength side. It was nowhere near the strongest, but you know with the players that they fielded, it should have still been more than good enough to dispose it. And I know they won, right? I get that, like, but I mean it wasn't convincing. What's on fashion, Sakala? I think the guy's dog shit. I mean, I pretty much said after seeing him, like, last season, a couple of games in, I say that, you know, this guy's horrendous. I remember there was a lot of hype between... Sa See, when Sakala was signed, he was supposed to be the guy to replace Morelos. So was Ruth, so was Itton. So, I never... I, I knew it wasn't replacing Morelos, like... Kolak is the closest, I think. Well, I would say Ruth did have a spell where he was... Yeah, but he's too injury-prone. But no, Sakala for me, I think it's proof that he's just not in Gio's plans. He barely gets any game time. He gets a chance tonight and he assists Queen of the South and scoring a goal. I mean, we do not have long of the window left. I think, I think a few of these players that featured the night could be at the door. Especially Sakala. And final thoughts, Jack Ross, RIP. He's dead. He's gone. He's finished. Rightfully so. It's time to go. Was it rightfully so? I've already gave my thoughts, mate, so you need to give your thoughts. I made a fit on it. I, I, I broke his win record then. One out of seven. It's not good enough, is it? It's just not. Is it harsh? Is it too early? I think they could have gave him a couple more games. But at the same time, I think that Dundee United squad is good. I think that should be a top six squad. Easily? What the fuck we all predicted in that? And I think 
I mean, maybe Dundee United are looking at Mullerwell and going, you know what, they look d- doomed. They didn't wait about. They, they got rid of, uh, you know, got rid of Graham Alexander and Steve Robinson's came in and he, he's made a good impact straight away. Uh, maybe that's what Dundee United are thinking. You know, rather than give him, maybe give Jack Ross another three or four games and, you know, more bad results go their way and before you know it, Dundee United are caught adrift. No, but see with Motherwell, right? You've got, you, there's a difference between playing shite and getting beat, right? And then turning it around and winning and playing decent. Dundee United are getting pumped. This is a mentality thing. This isn't a manager thing. But I agree he had to go. I wouldn't be surprised if Dundee United still continue to lose here. Yeah, but managers can change mentality, like, so... I wouldn't be surprised if they win their next game. Yeah, I, w- I wouldn't be either, but... Do you think if they bring a new manager in, I don't know who they're playing next, but say they go 2-0 down, would you be surprised if they could beat 5-0? Oh, no, but I just don't think they will go 2-0 down. I, I think they'll probably win their next game. Well, there you have it, guys. That's it. He's gave his thoughts on Jack Ross. He's at the door. Is Jack Ross done in Scottish football, or can you see him returning? I, I tell you what, people say the guy's a failure. You look at his win percentage. <laughs> what, Dundee and I? I fucking uh, great win uh, percentage. Uh, 14%. Yeah, uh, uh, 20 minutes into that away leg in, in, in um, Amsterdam, things were going all right. Uh, 73 seconds into the game against Celtic, though. <laughs> Dave Fletcher right. fucking sent Joe Hart back to Parkhead. I mean... Sunderland 50%, Hibernian 48%. It's almost 100. I mean, Hibernian, he was never outside the top four until he first fell at the top four, then he just, <laughs> fucking, you know, free fall. I don't think he's a bad manager, like, I think he's just unlucky, but you know what? I think he deserved a bit longer, but at the same time, you, you can see why Dundee United got rid of him. The, the stats are fucking horrendous. 23 goals in, in four games conceded. You know, that's just not good enough. But anyway, this video was originally talking about Aberdeen. I want to go back on a, a comment that I made about Aberdeen uh, recently there. I mean, at the start of the video, about their cup success, or, or lack of it, should I say. Um, if we look at Rangers, what, see here, Rangers go down 2011-2012. Yeah. Okay, so... 2012-2013 season, Scottish Cup round 5, League Cup round 4. 13-14 season, Scottish Cup semi-final, uh, League Cup winners. That's that's a good season, I think. Yeah. I, I would say that was a good season. 14-15, uh, Scottish Cup round 4, League Cup semi-final. 15-16, Scottish Cup round 4, League Cup round 3. 2016-2017, they made both finals. I think that's the year they lost both to Celtic. Because we support the shit. That's when Celtic were doing the quadruple treble, so you know what, you can't really... 17-18 uh, semi-final of the Scottish Cup quarter-final of the League Cup. Not bad. 2018-19 uh, semi-final of the Scottish Cup final of the League Cup. Again, not bad. 2019-20 semi-final of the Scottish Cup quarter-final of the League Cup. Again, not bad. But the last two seasons... 2021, they made the quarter-final of the Scottish Cup, then round two of the League Cup, and then last year, round five of the Scottish Cup and round two of the League Cup. I think that's disappointing. I remember last year, I think they lost to a championship side team, or was it? Yeah. It was, was it Aloha? No, it wasn't Aloha. It was not Aloha. Rafe? Yeah, Rafe? it was Rafe. I was Rafe Rovers. Fucking hell, compare and Rafe and Aloha, come on. So, yeah, like, I just... For me... I think I think they need to be doing better in the cops. Definitely need to be. But that will do it, guys. I tell you what, though, been reading that off, they do probably have the. I'd say that they've probably got the fourth best cup record in Scotland. I mean, who, who knows? Like they could have a fucking better cup record than Rangers. Actually, come to think of it, well, St Johnson have won two in one year, like you know. All right, fifth best maybe. Well, I'd, I'd say, but I mean, I'd say, obviously Celtic. Celtic's first. You, you could make a. It could be anybody in second, like. Yeah. I mean, if you're going based on success, it's probably St. Johnston. If you're going based on most finals, it's probably Hearts. If you're going based on... <laughs> the club, club date or not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you're based on... That's it. You know. It's all over. All right. It's done. Till next time. The Sheep Survivor Scare. We'll be back tomorrow. Uh, Celtic play Ross County. We'll review that and then we'll do the review show. How about that? How about those apples, son? Huh? Huh? Those apples sound good to me. Oh, aye.